So the main important thing is you need to understand what this is not. And this is absolutely not the square root of 2 squared plus the square root of 7 squared. You cannot distribute a power across addition or subtraction. Do you guys see how these terms are separated by addition? Yes? You cannot distribute a power across addition. You cannot do that. So no, no. If you made that mistake, write this down and say no, no. You cannot do that. So then what do we do? Well, we have to understand what is raising something to a power. When you square something, just like if I said x squared, what does x squared mean? That means x times x. So square root of 2 plus square root of 7 squared means square root of 2 plus square root of 7 times square root of 2 plus square root of 7. It's really that simple. It just means it's being multiplied by itself. So now you have a binomial times a binomial, which is like the other problems you guys did, or at least you guys asked me. My recommendation when doing these problems is to do FOIL, even though I usually always like the box method. A lot of times you have extra operations you have to do. So I like FOIL in this case. So the first thing on FOIL would be to be multiplying the first terms. So a lot of times you just kind of list out FOIL on the bottom. And you just multiply them. So we do square root of 2 times the square root of 2. Well, that equals the square root of 4, which is just equal to 2. Then the next one is we do the outer, which is your last, your outer terms. So therefore, that is square root of 2 times the square root of 7. Remember, since we're multiplying, radica multiplying radicals, as long as the index is the same, you just multiply the radicands. So 2 times 7 is 14. I cannot simplify that, so I just leave that as a square root of 14. Um, then we do the inner, which is those two. So now I do the square root of 7 times the square root of 2, which is the square root of 14. Same as the last one. Then the last ones we do is the last, which are the last two terms in each binomial, which is the square root of 7 times the square root of 7, which is equal to the square root of 49, which is equal to 7. So now we have the answer for each product of FOIL. Now we just need to write them all out to combine. So I have 2 plus the square root of 14 plus the square root of 14 plus 7. But ladies and gentlemen, is the index and the radicand exactly the same? Yes. So therefore, if you have 1 square root of 14 plus another 1 square root of 14, how many square roots of 14 do you have? 2. And then 2 plus 7 is 9. That's it. Done. So my recommendation for the other problems you guys asked, I just, I just don't have time right now, but I will walk around. I think it's really helpful when doing these is to apply FOIL. It really kind of gives you the time and the space to show all your work.